Keith Mather still remembers that sound half a century later. In 1968, the stockade at San Francisco's Presidio was his home. So if you're solitary confinement in here, you were in here. They didn't come get you, they just didn't come get you. Mather had joined the growing ranks of American soldiers protesting the Vietnam War. And historians say the military was taking notice. 1968, there's about one, sol uh, one soldier every three minutes going AWOL. Many taken into custody in California were crowded into the Presidio stockade overlooking the Golden Gate Bridge. As conditions deteriorated, clashes with guards grew more heated until a fateful incident that would trigger the so-called Presidio Mutiny. And the reason this demonstration came about was because Richard Bunch got shot and killed. Uh, and he was one of us. He says the 19-year-old soldier was having mental health issues, and one day, as he was running away from a guard, Bunch was shot in the back. By the next day, thousands of protesters swarmed the Presidio gates. Tensions were running so high that more than two dozen stockade prisoners, including Keith Mather, decided to stage a demonstration of their own, a protest that would earn them the name the Presidio 27. That morning, they broke ranks and refused to fall out for a work detail. Instead, they sat in a circle on the grass and read out a list of demands, including an investigation into Bunch's death. Right after that, we were read the, the Mutiny Act, and uh, we sang to try to drown out our captain so we couldn't hear. Uh, but evidently, uh, evidently, that didn't work in, in our court-martials. Uh, the first three trials that resulted in sentences were 14, 15, and 16 years. 1960s defense attorney Howard DeNike agrees with historians who believe the highly publicized trials and harsh sentences that followed were meant to send a chilling message to the ranks and crush the expanding protest movement. It was a catalyzing effect because it was pretty early in the resistance. Army officials, military officials were concerned that they were losing the army, that they were losing control of the military. Mather managed to escape from the Presidio stockade, eventually spending more than a decade in Canada. A half a century later, the struggle of the Presidio 27 is now enshrined in an exhibit at the former Officers Club. Richard Bunch's name can still be seen carved into the wall of a cell. Worth it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I wouldn't turn the clock back and try to change it. Uh, I wish there would have been more guys involved with us.